In this video, we're going to walk through the creation of a classification AI model. For this example, we're going to look at different textures of hardwood samples. If I go to explore, you'll see the data that I've already collected. We have 25 scans of a bunch of different types of hardwood samples. You can see they're labeled Mavericks, Natural Hickory, Woven Tacoma, etc. Once I've collected my data, I'm ready to build my AI model. So I'll click AI Design here. I'm going to create a new model by clicking New. For model type, we can pick from Classification, Detection, and Segmentation. In this example, we're going to click Classification. The goal is to have a function that we can use to classify which type of wood we're scanning. So I'll click OK here, and we'll enter a name for the new model. So we'll call this Hardwood Demo, and we'll click OK. The first thing we need to do is add our classes. And we're classifying these different types of wood, so we're going to add a class for each one. I'll click Add Class, and we'll name the first one Mavericks. That's the name of one of the samples. And we'll name a second one Natural Hickory. And we'll click OK. And we'll continue adding classes until we've defined each of the classes that we want to be able to scan. Now you can see we have a sign that says missing data. We need to add our scans to these classes so that the AI model has something to train off of. I'm going to go ahead and click this plus sign. And it took me to my library of scans. You can navigate to the scans that you've already taken. And I'm going to select scans to add to my training data. So I just added 20 scans. You can see how many from this little circle here to the Mavericks category. And now I'll add another 20 scans to my Natural Hickory category. So we'll click these here and OK. Now let's take a look at the properties that we can pick from. Here we have our epochs, which is the number of times we're going to go through the training data set. We have our batch size, which is the number of samples we'll look at before we change any model parameters. We have our learning rate, which controls how much the model changes in response to any error. And we also have options for enable ROI and enable CROC. When you mouse over these parameters, they'll give you a definition of what they do. Enable ROI would be used if our surface didn't take up the full field of view. So we won't use Enable ROI in this case because the textured pattern takes up our whole camera field of view. But we can use Enable Crop. Uh, enable Crop is going to basically take the scans that you have and crop them down into smaller pieces, 800 by 800 pixels in this case, so that it can build a larger data set from the number of scans that you've already uploaded. From here, once I've uploaded my data, I can click Train. I'll go ahead and click Train. It's telling me I only have 20 of the recommended samples. This is true. i am only uploaded 20 scans of each type. You will have a more accurate model the more samples that you upload. So the minimum recommended is 100. 
Uh, for this, since it's a proof of concept, I'm going to continue with just the 20 scans. You'll see a progress bar and the system will estimate the amount of time it takes to train. So you can see this one will take about half an hour. Now I've just jumped over to my already trained model. And from here I can click the deploy button. And the model is successfully deployed. So once I've deployed it, I can use it as an analysis routine. So let's go take a look. If I go to explore, we can open one of these scans. Maybe we'll do natural hickory 25. This was not a scan that I trained on. And I will run our hardwood classification algorithm. And we can see it detected this sample as natural hickory with a confidence score of about 93-94%. Now, one other thing worth mentioning for the AI design classification feature and all the other AI design options, uh, we have the ability to export this model. So let's say I configured this on my system and I want to use it on another system. I can export and save that model. Now when I want to upload it onto another system, I will just click the import button and load that zip file. And now you'll have your AI classification model on multiple systems.